Hello and welcome to day 22 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're going to show you how to beautifully correct exposure for any image in Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to correct exposure for any type of photograph in Photoshop. And we're going to use my favorite tool in Photoshop. It's called Adobe Camera Raw. Let's jump in and show you how to do it. So here's our image for today. Let's zoom out and you can see overall the image looks pretty good. The sky looks okay. Our subject is just way too dark. So what we're going to do is use our Camera Raw filter. Now, before we use any filter in Photoshop, it's really important. Go up here to where it says filter and go to convert to smart filters. There we go. Boom. That's going to make this layer a smart object and that it's going to allow us to change the filter at any point in time. So you want to make sure you convert to smart filters first. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to go into filter and then down here to camera raw filter. Boom. Now I'm going to give you like the secret, complete, easiest, easiest, easiest way to do this. And it's literally here. Just make sure you're in your editing right over here, your editing controls. And right here where you see edit, there's a button that literally says auto. I'm going to click that and... <laughs> that's going to do most of the work for you. Really, it's kind of like cheating, but it does a great job. Here you can see it brought our highlight values down and brought our shadow levels up and it even worked on our color a little bit. It brought us a little bit more vibrance. Now you can continue to adjust these sliders if you want to. For instance, you can see it brought our exposure up a tiny bit, 0.23. But if you want to, you can go ahead and bring this up a little bit more. You could even bring up your shadow values a little bit more. You can play around with this as much as you want. And if you think that, hey, maybe there's a little bit too much color, especially in our subject skin, you can go ahead and work on your vibrance and kind of get that right back down to normal. Now, this is a really great way to just blanketly update your exposure for an entire image. But what happens if you want to focus in on your subject? So in this case, we can see the subject is still a tiny bit too dark. Well, we're going to move over here to our masking tools here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and click there. And now you're going to see you can go ahead and select your subject. But check this out where it says people. It's working to find the people in the photograph. And when this is done working, it needs to be connected to the internet to do this, by the way, you're going to see you can select your person. So let's go ahead and just select the person. Now, the cool thing here is you can select any part of this person. So you could just select their skin, their eyebrows, their lips, their hair, even their clothing. You could select any of this or you can just go ahead and select the entire person right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to hit create. This is going to create a mask so you now can see you have a mask one and it's your person here you can turn the show overlay off and on to see what's actually selected now because we have our mask selected i can scroll right down here and i have these same controls that i had earlier for my entire photograph but now they're going to apply just to this person so for instance if i wanted to bring my exposure up a little bit brighter i could do that if i want to bring the shadow levels up a little bit brighter i could do that and maybe I want to warm this person up a little bit. So we're going to go our color temperature. Let's go ahead and warm the color temperature up and maybe just bring this a little bit. She was looking a little bit magenta in her skin tone. So you can kind of bring that down there as well and do a color correction on our subject as well. So all this is going to be really great for your subject and you can change this stuff at any point in time. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and get back to our editing. We're going to click on this icon right down here, which I love because I can see there's the before and the after. Look at that huge, huge update to our exposure. Now, the cool thing when we're in this tool, I'm going to go right over here to my remove options. We're going to go to our remove tool within camera raw. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paint on this dude standing back there. You know, he's contemplating life maybe trying to catch a fish in his mind, but he doesn't need to be in this photo. So we're going to go ahead and just paint right over him and click on remove. All right, the last thing we're going to do is just straighten out our horizon. It's really easy to do that here in camera raw. So we're just going to move right up over here to our geometry adjustments. And then here is an auto. It applied an imbalance adjustment to our perspective. Let's just click there and you're going to see it's going to take a look at our image and automatically update our horizon. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. We can see we did all of those changes within Camera Raw, which is super, super cool. Now, let's go ahead because remember, we made this a smart object. I can turn the smart filter off and on at any point in time. But now that I'm looking at my image, I'm like, you know what? Her skin tone looks good, but it's a little bit too 
like orange, a little bit too colorful, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into Camera Raw and fix that. So let's go ahead and double click right here where it says Camera Raw, boop, boop. Because we made it a smart filter, we can get back into Camera Raw. Let's go ahead and zoom in to our subject skin. We don't need to be that far zoomed in. All right, cool, that works. What we're gonna do is go back in our editing techniques. I love this tool right here. Okay, we're gonna go into where it says Color Mixer and we're gonna go to Point Color. So let's grab this eyedropper. We're gonna click on the color for her face right there. So we're literally targeting, targeting just the color on her face and I can change my hue a little bit. If it's a little bit towards red, okay, I can just push it back and make it a little bit more orange. Okay, that looks a lot more natural. I can work on my saturation of the color of her face. You can see it's similar to the color of the ground, but that's okay. And I can even work on the luminance of that. So let's go to this where you see color mixer here. Again, you have two options. You have the mixer itself, okay? And then you have point color. We did all that in point color, which I love. Let's go ahead and turn this eye off and on so you can see there's the before and the after. So you can see we did that to fix her skin tone as well. And you can change those adjustments at any point in time. And let's just bring our saturation down just a little bit on that. There we go. Let's turn that off and on. And there we can see, not only do we fix exposure, but we also fix the color of our skin while we made that exposure a little bit brighter. Let's go ahead and hit okay here. And that automatically updates here in Photoshop. So because we made it a smart object first, we have our smart object icon here. It used a smart filter that I can turn off and on, and then I can change the settings in Camera Raw at any time by double clicking on it, and then I'm back into Camera Raw. You can see I've got my color mixer and, and go right over here to my masks, and you can see I can turn this mask settings off and on at any time. So let's go ahead and hit cancel, and that's all there is to it. So you can see not only did we completely correct our exposure, let's just take a look at our before and after. There's the before and the after, but also we removed that dude, straightened our horizon, and fixed the color of our subject's skin. So the next time you have an image that's just a little bit too dark or a little bit too light, go ahead and start off by creating a smart object. Go into your Adobe Camera Raw filter, click on that auto button, and from there you can make any adjustment you need. Join us tomorrow where we're gonna show you how to do basic retouching in Photoshop. Thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.